God bless you all. This is the Rosal Solomon's YouTube channel, and I'm your host, Apostle Rosal Solomon. You can look for something here every week or every other week on this channel. Praying, the prophetic, prophecies, dream interpretation, teaching, and so much more. And if you're new to the channel, God bless you. Subscribe, like, and share. You won't regret it. Hello, this is Apostle Rosalind Solomon, and you are welcome to Rosalind Solomon's YouTube channel and Yahweh's YouTube channel. And today is November 7th, 2022, and um, we got like, what, six and a half, seven weeks left for this year. Uh, for those of you that don't know, um, I'm having a grand thing at, uh, at December 31st on Facebook. Um, it's $7.98 to join. Uh, Facebook has put me out of Facebook timeout because all this year they wouldn't let me do these things. And now I've come out. They let me out. Right? <laughs> so now I'm doing right. So I, so daddy was like, do it for December 31st. So I'm going to be doing personal prophecies for people for next year. Um, a small teaching and any other new words that God give me. Uh, if he gives me, I will say. All right, it's going to be a grand thing. So, and make sure you fast before December 31st, like I taught y'all earlier. All right, fast as many times as you want. The more you fast, the better. All right, so I have some, I called it worldwide um, because I have worldwide pro pro uh, prophetic words and visions, right? So, some of these things the Lord showed me, some of these things He told me. And he, um, you know, let me know. So the Lord, Father, in the name of Yeshua, Jesus, let me speak this way. You want me to speak through the Holy Spirit, fire through me and Yeshua's name. Um, The Lord told me that, um, well, the big deception started in 2016. Those of you that was on my old channel, y'all know that. I said that, especially when Trump came in office and boy, is it thick. So the Lord said, you know, now every nation is going to go into bond bondage. They're going to be bound. Um in a deceit of deception and illusions and lies. We're going to see that. The Lord said, um, we must fight daily to keep the good fight of faith and Yeshua Jesus name. Um, the Lord said, we must die daily to our flesh, you know, and uh, study Romans six and eight. Right. The Lord said we must watch and pray. Um, I told y'all this about North Korea, um, but he wants me to say it again. North Korea is going to move against South Korea. They already had something where they were finally meeting after 14 years or something. I, I saw it somewhere. But um, y'all need to pray for South Korea. And I told y'all this years ago, and it's in my prophecy book, where they were going to become one Korea. I think it was going to be called korea something um where i had a big vision about it and it's in my prophecy book prophetic um past present and future all the way up to 20 from 2012 to 2022 um but that's after great wars and stuff so north korea is gonna try and make a move against south korea because he, he he's been eyeing that for a minute um also you're gonna see south korea moving their jets and aircrafts like they're preparing for something. Um, there's tornadoes that's going to be coming to Texas. I don't know what part of Texas, but I saw them coming to Texas and Alabama and Mississippi, but especially Texas. So if you're in Texas, pray over your area and they're going to be very destructive, dangerous tornadoes and they're going to come so fast and leave so fast, but the destruction is going to be like 
mayhem. Um, we're going to see a lot of storms rising, bad storm, severe storm, electrical storm. I saw it more so to the north and the east. Um, in the south, we may have a few, but not like the north and the east. And I saw an uprising coming out of um, Chicago. Was it Chicago, Illinois? Illinois was it? One of them, Illinois to Chicago, I saw an uprising coming up. There's going to be some type of killing. Um, I don't know if it's going to be cops killing somebody or some kind of killing. Uh, and of course, it's brown people. It's going to rise up. And then I saw a, a Latino being shot. But I don't know what state this was in. But I saw a Latino being shot. And wherever he was shot at, it was a, I think it was two people, he and the she. Um, wherever they were shot shot at and it's like a gas station or something um it's like a uh i don't know if it's something to do with the cops or a gang but i keep i kept saw, seeing cops and gangs right and after the shooting of these two latinos i think it was a, a boy a young man and a girl um, if i'm not mistaken or it could have been two men i don't know but when you hear about these latinos being shot that state's gonna rise up you're gonna know what state i was talking about um, I told y'all before that there's a lot of things that have been hidden that's about to be revealed. And I told y'all last year, the Lord said, oh, look up this year because you're going to see a lot of things. And boy, we've seen things coming out of the sky. <laughs> um, I told y'all last year, the Lord said asteroids were going to be trying to like fall and swim around our planet. So we got to pray against that because asteroids are going to try and fall there's matter of fact there's a big one that's coming and they're they're gonna and it's heading for us and they're gonna do something to dissipate it but when they dissipate it it's it's going to make it worse so when they dissipate it i guess it's going to turn into multi multitudes um and all i heard the lord say it was going to make it worse he didn't say if these things was going to hit or not but it could make it worse in our hemisphere. So we got to pray against this big rock that's heading for us, right? And whatever they do to break it, they may not even tell us about it because they don't want panic, but just pray against any big rocks, asteroids coming toward our planet. And um, if they do have to break this thing up, just pray that God intervene and intercept these rocks and they don't do any damage. This is very serious, guys. Mm-mm-mm. Um, and like I said, North Korea is planning attacks. So pray against North Korea, ask God to intervene and to judge that government over there that want to throw missiles at South Korea and over here. They don't like, they don't like our democracy. They don't like our freedom and Yeshua's name. Um, and they're not getting their way in the Biden administration. Right. Um, so I'm sorry, y'all. I got to turn, turn the phone. All right. And the Lord said that they, um, there's some type of strikes coming and it's going to hit our economy and other economies. But God said we could pray against this and ask him to intervene and cancel it out. In Yeshua's name. Um, I told y'all before that there's going to be some new wars coming. Israel next year. Um. If not to start in this year, but Israel will be in war. Um, will it be like Ukraine and Russia? I don't know. Um, I saw pockets of wars in other countries. Like I told you, I saw Iran and Saudi Arabia going at it. I told you that last year, but I don't know what that's going to um, amount to. Right. I told you about artificial humans, but been telling you all this for a couple of years. They, they use the human DNA mixed in them like god said in the book of daniels they would make clay and iron together but god would split it because clay and iron is not meant to be so a lot of these ais are going to be looking like humans and acting like humans and this is why they're going to have emotional feelings like i told y'all one of my videos on here so pray um against that and by the time people realize by the time people realize um this has happened it could be too late the lord said so please share um this prophecy with people so people could start praying especially the church against this happen like a total recall movie you know what i mean 
Um, more famine is coming. It's it's already happening in some places. I told you they would be getting bad storms and freezing. There was a hundred car car pile, pile up somewhere for a bad storm. So we're going to be seeing that. But in the southern areas, not all, but a lot of the southern areas are going to have a dry winter, warmer than usual. Not much snow, but um, on the east coast and the north and um, other places, they're going to be experiencing bad storms, and we're already seeing it. Um, and fam famine is going to come worse in some nations, and we're going to see some nations collapse because um, it's not because of a financial. Well, it may be because of a financial sector, but it's more so going to be because their food chain is going to collapse because like water's drying up in places and the boats can't move to ship the food. And then, you know, it's a small like I asked God, I said, God, are they going to run out of diesel? And the Lord was like, our country has a lot of diesel, but it's just low right now. But um, the diesel situation was going to be fixed. The Lord said, I don't know how, but he said it would. And um, the weather's the weather's going to get um, badder, guys, in certain parts of the world here in America, different parts. So we need to pray about that. And the Lord said, always when you're outside walking, you know, look up sometime. Um, India and the Philippines are about to have some serious destruction coming to them. I said this already about those countries, so pray for them. And if you're in those countries, pray. Um, I'm going to have to come back and do a part two. <laughs> um, the Lord said that, um, like I already told you about the storms that's coming. Um, we're going to see like red dust coming out of the sky and sand turning red and water turning red. Every time I, the Lord tell me this, it happens, right? Um, but God said his children are going to be protected. Um, he says, feel my anointing, feel my joy, feel my power, right? Um, and there's gonna be some churches closing. It's gonna be the Lord's doing. He's going to replace these churches. You know, um, there are a lot of trumpets going off in the spiritual realm, warning us on this earth. People just aren't hearing it. So the Lord said, just watch and pray and move close to the Holy Spirit. And there's going to be some type of deal with Israel and um, with, Le with the country Lebanon, but I don't know what kind of deal. And I told y'all already that war was coming to India and Africa. He wanted me to reiterate that again. Um, you're going to start. I told y'all about the solar technology that's coming. Well, you're going to start seeing stuff in the air. A lot of it's going to be from the enemy, some from daddy. Um, we're going to see solar flares coming. They're going to be hitting the earth um, and I already told you about Hong Kong. Something's going to be happening in Hong Kong. Um, I believe it's an earthquake and flooding that's coming there. And um, people in China are going to start to riot because that COVID over there is so bad. And the Lord said they're getting it over there so bad because that's where it originated from, right? So you're going to start seeing their people um, protest. And uh, I saw Iran and Syria and Russia and Turkey be hit with an earthquake. Iran, Syria, Russia, and Turkey um, hit with an earthquake. And I kept hearing the word Tussum, Tussum Ball. I hope I'm saying it right. Tussum Ball. I didn't have a chance to, to look it up, but Tussum Ball, um, something about Tussum Ball. So I'm going to come back in a few minutes with a second one. All right. God bless you. Shalom.